Well, hello there and welcome. We're going to continue the Sonicathon, and next up is Sonic Chaos. Which is this beautiful looking thing. That's the start button. So, in case you're wondering why it looks like this, it is from the Game Gear, I think, which is 8 bit. How do I, how do I select things? Not, not by that. Oh, it's a circle. Okay. So, oh, wow. Turquoise Hill. I've never played an 8 bit Chaos Sonic game before. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> okay. Let's do that again, shall we? Let's get some rings. We're not. Let's, let's get some rings. Everything is quite flutter. Now, originally, I was going to play Sonic Triple Trouble on a different one I have. Different one, different disc. However, when I was doing my research, it was like, this is a sequel to Sonic Chaos. And I thought, well, maybe I should play Sonic Chaos. And here we are. Everything is quite slow. It's a little bit floater. I think I can get used to it though. So this also has these spinning things at the end. And it gives you a speed. Which is nice. You, on the spinning flag you'll get a present depending on what it is. If you get a flicker, which is what that one was, you get nothing. Thank you game. I appreciate that. So yeah, we're playing this on the, not that one, on the Sonic Mega Collection for the PlayStation 2, whereas I was going to lose the Sonic Gems Collection for Sonic Triple Trouble. For some reason, Sonic Chaos is not on that disc. So I have to have a different disc, which thankfully I did, to play this. Nice. There's some there's some spikes there. This one is the first wow, okay. This one is the first one that has Tails in it as a playable character for the 8-bit region. Region consoles. No, we need to go that way. We need to go oh, wow, hence game. Uh, it was also the first one to introduce the spin dash as well. Nope, this is not going where I want. Everything is... Everything feels like it's closer to you. Alright, we've got a spring there. Cool. Like, you don't get as much warning of incoming troubles. Yay! There we go. Another flick here. Another sweet nothing. Thank you again. Also, those the, the speed is for your overall average throughout the entire round. It seems to be a little bit fast. Seven over seven hundred kilometers an hour? No, definitely not. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. There's some springs there instead of just spikes and death. We need. We need some rings. We need some rings, please. Please give me the rings. Oh. Really, I have to do this boss without any freaking rings. Thanks, game. Oh. Is that the boss? Was that the boss? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll have to play the 8-bit um, versions more often. There is a... Famous lots of words. Gigapolis. Gig Gigapolis? Gigapolis? It's probably that. Right then, let's see if this gets a little bit harder. Well, we've got plenty of rings already. Ooh! 
it's kind of wow it's kind of tricky because a lot of the times you can't actually see the um, the springs they just come out of nowhere okay we need some rings again get rid of that get some rings so yeah at the end of the things where the flag is if you get a flicker you get nothing we've had two of them so far if you get a Sonic, you get a 1-up. Or a Continue, if you're playing as Tails. Uh, and if you get a Tails flag, if you're playing as Tails, you get uh, a 1-up. And if you're not playing as Tails, you get a Continue. Basically, whichever character is on the flag, if you're not them, you get a Continue. If you are them, you get a life. That's how that goes, basically. There's also a move in this called the Super Peel Out, which also started in Sonic CD. However, I have never heard of it. And it's where, you just do it now, if you look up and do this, you get this spin. I don't, I don't know what the point of that is though. Also, I either never did it, oh, nice. I also never, ugh, rings. I either never did it in Sonic CD or it never referred to it by name because I didn't recognize it. Okay. I don't know what FPS we're running at here, but it's very, very slow. Actually, what does the OSC say? Okay. According to the open source scan cover, we're just getting a, a solid 50 hertz. So it's just a really slow feeling game. Which kind of feels weird for Sonic to be honest. Am I going the wrong way? Good chance I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. See if I can go right this time, shall we? Yeah, I know, I know Sonic. Don't be a drama queen. Ooh! Oh. Nope. Just jump over all that. Oh, the R1 brings up the settings menu. Nice. Ah. Also, if you press um, the thumbstick, you can make it smaller. I'm presuming that is the original resolution of the Game Gear, whereas this is the big one. I tried to chroma key out the black in the background, but I couldn't, because if you look carefully, it's actually stripes between black and slightly less black, and it doesn't really work, so, oh. So never mind. Right. Is there any rings? I think this is the boss. Wow. There we go. Ooh, we have rings this time. Ooh, do, 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 do. Cool. Five rings. Let's go. Watch the sweet mercies out. Don't. Wow. What? What? Like, that was a little bit trickier, mostly because I had no idea what I was doing. It also, the boss wasn't flickering either, signifying I'd hit them. So that was kind of weird. <laughs> yep, thank you, we know. Cheers. Now, is there any save options? Ah, uh, there is. In which case, I will leave it here, and hopefully I'll see you next time for more Sonic Chaos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Um, wow. That is sync on green, I think. That is not good. Uh, we need YPBPR. Not RGSB. YPBPR, come on. There we go. Good to go.